What's up guys? It's John. We are back here on this mulching project and land clearing uh, project I've been working on the past couple days. I had to run out this morning, just grayed out a little backyard. Uh, some friends of the family, they had a uh, septic uh, system had to be redone. So I just smoothed it out. Had my buddy Craig come out and help me real quick. We knocked it out, hauled a little dirt off, that kind of thing. But I am back over here. Bleh. I am back over here. If you guys have not uh, seen any of the videos, be sure to go back into the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't to the old YouTube channel. But um, so we've last video over here, I took out a bunch of stuff out by the road and brought it down over here to lay out. Um, there was kind of a little grass patch up there and everything. So brought it over here so I can mulch it up. And uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but you know, here's the road and it kind of does this and then there's a creek right there so i was thinking about i know this is going to hold water and uh once i get this mulch down i was going to take the dozer do a little cut through right there a little ditch so that will drain for them and then you know kind of dress it all up real nice with some mulch i did smooth this out real quick with the skis here when i got it unloaded but a few things to touch up started mulching i'm like hell yeah gotta get the video out gotta get the video for the youtube so let's uh start mulching over here it is extremely dusty so we're going in the cab today so uh let's see where was i um yeah in cab today Maybe we'll set you guys out here in a little bit, but I got this bit to do and then the customer added something over here back behind the barn and uh, So usually if it's just like a one little tree or you know like five minutes with the mulcher Usually I don't worry about it, but this is There's a lot more than that. There's two big pines. I got a great out spot for a horse arena or a round pen so um what I'm gonna do is finish up everything else, make sure this part of the job is done, and then that's gonna be like a tack on hourly. Usually most of my jobs I do, um, everything is one set number. I figure it up, I've been doing it quite a while, so I have a good idea how long it's gonna take me. Uh, don't ask me how much, because I'm not gonna tell you that's between me and the customer. So, um, and if you are looking to figure that out, you know, it's, you know, figure out your time and materials, uh, materials, you know, if you have to rent, if you don't have to rent and you know, what your hourly rate is and just, you know, figure it out from there. It's not rocket science people, but, um, so anyways, that being said, I'm going to finish all this up. I'm going to hopefully get that Harley rate hooked up and get it raked, get everything done. And then we'll jump over to the hourly rate stuff. Um, I probably could have just thrown them a number, but I wanted to be fair, you know, everything's here. So I'm just gonna do hourly on top of that. And that's what we agreed to. So most, sometimes I'll like, hey, you know, 500 bucks, 800 bucks or hundred dollars, whatever. But this, uh, I just told him that. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's get uh, mulching this up here. And got a big old, I said big old, probably, eight inch uh wild cherry right there we're gonna start into with the asv 100 i'm really liking the, this machine guys my knives could use a sharpening that's for sure
Trying to answer the phone, got her plugged up again. Potential spam.
bulge over it and be done with it.
All right, guys, let's check it out. So, uh, got everything mulched down. I still got to uh, hopefully hardly rake that, if nothing else. We'll just pick the sticks up out, but kind of from that tree over is my mulch bed. So I lost all that debris that was here and up by the road right here. Put a little swag in there for them. Hopefully that water will push out down through there. I'll kind of look at it from this side for you. But my goodness, I mean, look at this. So dusty. But yeah, that should work. We got got some fall down right there. But um, yeah, it turned out pretty nice. I'm gonna switch over to that Harley rake and hopefully get that thing figured out. I got the the right wiring schematic schematic uh, for the 14 pin on it and um hopefully it should work so i need to hardly rake this and that over there but first i'm gonna blow off the machine because it is nasty get the filters blowed out get it all cleaned up real quick and then um and then we will probably eat some lunch honestly what? All right, guys, I just got it hooked up. So this is uh, Iron Craft, their Harley rake. Um, so they, uh, this belongs to them, I'm trying it out. I've always been curious about running a Harley rake over or something like this, so thanks to Iron Craft. Um, just basic uh, standard flow, nothing fancy. I didn't have the right um, combination as far as, this is a 14 pin and the booklet came with a five pin this is the new model and the new models are 14 pin so i think that should be good uh but it uh you know it tilts tilts this way and uh it's got one cylinder right here that pushes it back and forth so you could win row it all so i've never run one of these i've seen them run i'm super curious to see how it works so we shall find out together. The tires in the front, they are, uh, I believe they're solid fill tires. From what I've been told. Just standard, yeah, I think I said that standard flow. Uh, all right, bear with me people. Man, it's so sandy. All right, here we go.
let's check out the product here. confused but I am 
happy with the rake. I just gotta figure it out. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's gonna be a learning curve for me. So, but what it did over there, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so just so. Yes, I like it so far. All right, guys, that is it. I am done with the original part of the contract. All that is clean, picked up, sticks raked, and I went through and picked, hand picked up a bunch. This is done over here. Up there is done at the street. So I'm going to actually, look at that, just wind just picking up that uh, dust over there. Oh, so nasty. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, trying out that rake, uh, uh, Harley rake, and mulching in this dust. Oh man, it's it's been quite the quite the project. But uh, I'm gonna end it here. Stay tuned for more. I'm gonna go ahead and start another video in the back side of the property over here, taking out these two big pines. They're not that big, but chewing those off and everything, and clearing out for. Uh, horse uh, round green green round pin is what they call it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos and uh, be be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment if anybody has had a bunch of experience with this rake or uh, any of these rakes like this. Please let me know. Uh, give me some guidelines as far as what I was doing right and wrong, guys. I wasn't going to put you outside. The camera would just been dusted over couldn't really see anything um, so but we got more work for that for sure down the road so leave a comment below like subscribe if you haven't already and uh, thanks for watching have a good one y'all